Hey everyone, welcome to Asthma Footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here, we are a family of eight who live off grid in Australia. I have been promising a bit of a chat video to give an update on the building and things like that. So that's what I'm planning to do this morning, though it is very cold. It is about uh, eight degrees here at the moment, which is pretty cold for us. Uh, it's getting down to like two or three overnight lately, um, and we don't have a fire set up yet. So I'll show you why that is so far and show you the buildings and stuff. But yes, so um, other than the building, which I'll walk you through and show you what we've been doing, uh, the any other updates I can think of. Uh, I've got like six or seven, I went through all my footage last night and I've got like six or seven uh, videos worth of footage there. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to put them together. I've been really, really slack with that. Uh, so I definitely need to do that. So we've got plenty of food videos still coming and a whole bunch of stuff that we've got planned to do that I'll share as well uh, that I've been talking about for weeks now of the stuff that I need to get done, the dry goods instant mixes and stuff restocked for our shelves for the kids. The kids keep nagging me for um, more instant porridge and things like that. And I just haven't done it. Uh, I'll just give me a sec, turn you around and sh say I've had, I've got a visitor. So recently we had uh, a turkey turn up on the property. This is, we've called it Albert, as in, you know, Albert turkey. Uh, he or she, we aren't sure, um, has just decided to turn up at the property one day and now gets fed with the other free range animals in our mess of a backyard here. That's our, uh, our, clothesline that broke and we haven't been able to get the parts for it so we're just using strings up at the moment uh, but we're still it's still very much a construction zone here so I'll walk you this way first before we go inside this is the back of the buildings so this is our where the doors and everything are oh, we also can't use the doors at the moment because the geese are chewing at the base of the doors and the timber is old enough that they're chewing through the timber so I've bought a sander and some enamel paint and stuff to fix them up but I just I don't have the time right this minute so we've got them covered so we can't even use the doors but anyway so we still have a construction zone going on there's still bits and pieces of stuff everywhere we did get this dead tree down though I've got footage of that actually I'm going to put that clip in here uh Phil came over and we paid him to take some trees down and stuff this tree this was a dead tree that was I'll try and find a photo oh well on the footage you should see it was hanging sort of back and over towards the new buildings which was really dangerous uh and we hadn't been able to sort it out ourselves we hadn't been game to and phil came out and did some tree lopping for us and he got this to fall exactly where he wanted it to fall uh and we'll have some really nice timber to use out of that for the fire as well but we've still got construction zones going on here as well so we've still got roofing iron and stuff because we had to fill in that wall and we still haven't finished filling in everything so we've still got all our supplies sitting here but he also took down uh, a lot of branches on the, oh, the sun there, I don't know how well you can see, but this tree here and the tree in the yard that was leaning over towards the solar panels and was really causing issues with sunlight during certain times of the day. So we've got to clean all this up as well. We'll need to put all this stuff aside to dry. We can use it for firewood next year, but it's all a bit too green to use this year. But the pigs really like all these scraps too. So we got the external wall done on there. It doesn't look great, but it works. So that's the external wall for the breezeway. We got that finished. There's still a few spots. There's some corner pieces in that that we need to put in, but we wanted to get that up. It is secondhand roofing iron, so there is some holes throughout it too that we need silicon, but we will put internal wall and stuff in it too. So we will get there. So that's what the external wall looks like. And then, yeah, we're still... We still have a mess going on here, which is, you know, real life. So all our building supplies and everything needs sorting and the um, roofing iron needs stacking into, we had it stacked into the profile so that when we needed something from a specific profile, we could grab it. Um, but then we've rummaged through the piles to find stuff. Now it needs to all be repiled up and bricks put on top so that nothing can fly away. And we've got all our timber here. We did actually manage to pick up, it's around the front. I won't walk around there, but let me turn you around again. We did manage to pick up some secondhand insulated panels that we're going to use for the kitchen roof. Uh, we haven't got there yet, but when we get there, we will. So it's covered up out the front because the geese eat the insulation out of the middle of the panels if they're given the opportunity to. So we've got that out the front, but covered in uh, tarps to make sure that the geese can't get to it. So we've got 
nine pieces meter wide 2.5 long so that will be we'll be able to do the whole um the whole kitchen roof with that which will be great uh so that is awesome um what else has been going on not a whole lot um we've just been plodding along but let me take you inside because that's what everyone's really interested about so i'll go and show i'll come and show you what we're at so far but everything is very much in a state of flux at the moment and messy but we'll see what we can see so it's really hard to to show the space realistically you have to excuse my hair too beanie for my face in this weather but i also slept on my hair wet so it's a mess uh so really hard to show the space so let me turn you around and i'll try and explain how it works so we're inside the building that's been turned into a bedroom so standing at one end that's the far end and that we've put our bed in obviously now because we have a king size bed it takes up you know the majority of the space but that's fine there's plenty of room to walk around and by having it this way we can put bedside tables each side rather than if it was i think temperature changes are screwing with the camera and it's fogging up hopefully that's a little bit better so um bedside tables either side whereas if we had the bed turned around with the bed head against the wall there was no room for bedside tables uh so this works for the moment Robin gave us this really nice rug that we've got underneath the bed to keep things warm. We are using these USB lights at the moment so they can be charged. They can be on movement or just turned on and they're magnetic. So they magnet into the little holder, but the holder magnets as well. So that works really well with the metal walls because we haven't got all the plastic off yet. You can see this roof panel is really bad. That's just the plastic. It was underneath gum trees, so the gum trees have the tannins and the plastic and anyway, so we haven't got all the all the plastic off yet. So these magnetic lights work really well because I don't want to be putting holes in anything until we figure out what we're going to do. And we don't have power run out here yet either. So we've been using things like the Ryobi inverters, so the Ryobi rechargeable batteries, and then you can have these little inverters on them and they have... USB slots and things like that so we can charge phones or lights or run fairy lights or whatever on them and uh, they it works really well so we are going to pick up I am going to try some generic batteries rather than the Ryobi branded ones I found some at a really good price and the Ryobi batteries are so expensive uh, so yeah so we've got we're using those in here at the moment we have the chest of drawers now this chest of drawers was in my sewing area so at the moment it's full of just stuff I have to pull it all out but we're going to use that for our clothing and I'm going to buy some new replacement uh knobs for it because the knobs that came with it they always keep on falling off this was given to us by a friend years ago um and it's a really sturdy little chest of drawers and that's where we'll probably put a tv on top of as well uh so yeah so this is our room here it's three meters by six meters and it's just yeah just a room but it is our room which is something we haven't had in like six years <laughs> so now when you come out of the room is when you come into the breezeway so at the moment you'll have to excuse mess i said we're still in flux so the breezeway runs from those glass doors that lead outside uh, and that's the existing building there which we pulled all the external wall off but we haven't got the ply yet to cover the wall we're going to cover that door up it doesn't need to be there but we pulled this door off uh, and we're just going to put blinds on the windows so daryl and i have moved our offices out here out of the way so that we can open up the space inside for the kids uh, we've got some rugs these are the green rugs that i picked up when i did the shopping last there to go behind the desks here but we just haven't got that far yet because of all this stuff so the we, obviously we've got the drop saw and stuff out here still because we're still working on it bits of ply extra doors things like that but some of my sewing stuff is out here at the moment because it had to be moved out to move the other stuff um, and then it'll move back in so we got our desks out here yesterday set up so that we can get all of this sorted um, and then the this is the inside of that external wall so again still in flux at the moment these are the couches that i got from my auntie gay uh so at the moment they're just covered in <laughs> tools and stuff um and there's just mess because we're cleaning up the other uh, kids have been doing diamond painting and stuff too on this coffee table so there's you know children 
So James is going to come out probably this week because we need to put a, we need to put fibro on this wall because that's where we're hoping to put a fireplace. Now, I still haven't been able to find one, but that's the hope is to put a small fireplace just there, flued out the wall. Um, so we need fibro for that wall. We can put ply or anything cheap, MDF or whatever on these walls. But over here, we have to have the fibro because that's going to be where we intend to put the fireplace if we can find one that's a good price. Uh, so the girl's room is still in progress as well. Um, they just, you know, Surreal has a habit to, that's Surreal's mess. So, you know, we will have to keep working on that. But Sonnet made her bed and everything. Uh, but the we're still organizing everything in here with the plan is to put up some dividers in the middle some curtains for the doorway and curtains for the windows and things like that but at the moment they just wanted to move in here so they did so they've got their beds set up and a few personal bits and pieces and that's where the other part of the house goes so i won't walk in there at the moment because we've got stuff all over the place this was an old ikea bed that they were using as a couch that we're now going to pull apart and get rid of because we've got these couches here which are much more practical than that we've still got totes here that have some winter clothing and fabric and stuff in it that i'm slowly working through so that we can move that out of there as well the kids tvs are there i'll show you from the other side as well and those two are the other two bedrooms so there's three meter by three meter bedrooms now all the walls have that ugly yellow masonite on it um, and some of them have this like the glue marks because it used to be a mining building they actually had like furniture attached to the walls and things like that it's really ugly but it has worked for us for you know it, it's there it creates walls and for the moment that's all that matters so slowly but surely we will have the space now to be able to move things out like if we can get this space organized we can move the kids out of a bedroom to redo a bedroom and then move them back in but we haven't had that space before so uh, we put the we put ply on the lip so that everything's covered there as well we'll we'll wall the outside of this as one of the next steps and we'll wall then we'll work on the aesthetics of inside but those two rooms there are the other two bedrooms so Apollo and Carvey sleep in that one and the twins sleep in the other one so now from this angle it's easier to show you what's happening here so this was the big open space that was in here this used to be where our bed was here in this space here so this is what we're doing at the moment is we're basically uh, tetrising stuff from one spot to the next to then be able to tetris it to the next spot so we've removed some shelving and stuff and relocated shelving and now I'm getting all their school stuff set back up uh, and then my sewing table and everything is going to go in this little section here as well as my like I've got the sublimation printers and heat presses and stuff that I haven't been able to leave permanently set up anywhere so the plan is to leave them set up in a small space here so we're just going to do a this sort of a this little square here will be a, a bit of an add-on to our office and then we're going to move everything else back this way so the kids have all the rest of the space so as you can see the fireplace isn't usable at the moment because over summer we have this tendency to encroach on the space and then in when it gets cold we have to clean up around the space to be able to use the fireplace so as I said everything's messy at the moment because we've got stuff just everywhere um while we're trying we've got to clean we've got to get all these clothes moved out so we're sorting clothing getting it all moved out so that we can get it away from the fireplace and then the kids desks we are going to that which are covered in you know stuff from every surface at the moment we need to rearrange as well so the space is very much in progress <laughs> and that there is the door to lead out to the rest of the house or the the top sort of thing so the bathroom and laundry is that room at the end there and then we have an access door to out the back here so hopefully that makes sense and then that's the patio and that's my kitchen over there in that corner so we are slowly slowly working on getting there we will this is all the kids books and stuff on the other side and we we just very much use whatever we have to be able to do things here and i've got a lot of stuff that i need to go through and find new homes for in the you know process of of getting this space sorted and all the 
but we're still building stuff. So we still have, you know, the saw horses and the and the drop saw and angle grinders in there and the new vacuum cleaners and things like that. And we're trying to shampoo the rugs as we go through. As each space we clear up, we vacuum and shampoo the rugs and then get them sorted to go back and things like that. So so that is where we're at at the moment. It's still all just a work in progress, basically. We just need to move things from one spot to another spot to be able to get them in the right spot. But we also need to get that internal wall done and hopefully find a fireplace. Um, but James also has some vinyl flooring for us that we like what we used in the bathroom. And the, we have to decide exactly where we're gonna put that and then move stuff accordingly to get that flooring down, move it back on top. So it's all just uh, still, slowly but surely progress not perfection and all that sort of stuff uh we will get there in the end but it is just a bit of a long-winded process when we're doing it in between the rest of our lives and also having to shift things because you still have to be able to sleep still have to be able to live and it has been very cold uh so that has made a bit of a an issue with you know the we're getting up a bit later going inside a bit earlier and we don't have the fireplace at the moment things like that we are looking at getting uh, maybe fill back to cut some firewood bulk for us. Daryl normally cuts the firewood, but he's got a lot of problems with his shoulder at the moment. Uh, so maybe we might hire Phil for a couple of hours. He can come and just down a whole bunch of trees. And because he knows what he's doing, he can drown down the, the best trees that are the most useful for it. And then uh, he can just down them into pieces and then we can collect them wagon full by wagon full and split them as we need, which might be something that we do this year rather than getting the chainsaw going again and things like that so we will see how we go but that was about it so I just wanted to share everyone had been asking about the new buildings and I hadn't really given much of an update because it just feels like we're only getting small bits done at a time and there wasn't anything significant to share about them but we are we have moved out there so that's a, that's fairly significant I suppose so thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one bye guys